Good morning, guys. Um, sorry about the bad lighting. It's, I think it's 7.30 in the morning, and it's very overcast here today. I, we have some snow coming, some uh, very, very cold temperatures coming. So, you know, the weather here is kind of gray, and the lighting in the shed is um, not the greatest as it is anyhow. So, um, but I got to tell you guys. I hope this, this hot, delicious, creamy cup of caffeine, I hope it kicks my butt real soon. Um, it's been, it's been a rough couple of days. Not really rough. It's, it's to my own, it's to my own fault. Um, I'm going on four and a half hours sleep. If you remember right, a couple of weeks ago, maybe even more like a little more than a month ago, I had said in a video that I was knitting um, a project. So I have a shepherd friend that won an award. I believe it's Shepherd of the Year. I'll find out from her when we go down to Baltimore on Thursday. But um, she was she was she got was given this award, and uh, she was asked to place some of her fibers in a display down in Baltimore. And I had already agreed to make her a sweater out of her fibers. She weaves, but she doesn't knit. And, and I had agreed to make her, I wanted to make her something that she could wear from her fibers. So I had already agreed to this, but when she was told she was getting this award, she asked me if I could get it done in four weeks. Now, I made this sweater pattern a couple months ago. I made it with um, a hand spin that I spun. It was it was pretty close to a worsted weight. It was really heavy on the DK side and, and pretty light on the worsted weight. And that sweater went together in a week. I mean, just... So when she gave me the fibers, I thought, I've got plenty of time. And I got busy and I've procrastinated and put it off and then... Yeah, this week hit, and I'm like, oh crap, I've got to get this sweater done. So I have spent every minute that I could working on this sweater. And last night, I was up until 2.30 in the morning finishing it. So I still have to, um, you know, take the strings and, and weave them in. I'm sorry, my brain, I'm totally exhausted. I have to weave in the ends. Um, but I wanted to show you the sweater. I'm I'm so honored. I'm not complaining. I'm so honored that she asked me to do this, um, and she asked me to go with her to display the sweater. She's on her way here now to pick it up so she can get her display ready, but she asked me to go with her to set up the display and uh, and to go with her to receive her award. I think that's next week. So I'm, I'm going to try to record, um, I'll, I'll add to the, this recording, I'm going to try to put in here the uh, when we go down to Baltimore to set up the display. I'll show you the display, but I just thought I'd get on here and show you the finished product. I'm really happy with it. The, I followed the pattern, and um, looking at the sweater, I wish I would have made the sleeves probably about three inches shorter. They're uh, wrist length, but I really would have liked to have made maybe a three-quarter inch sleeve because this is um, this is a fingering weight. This is an alpaca and Gotland wool fleece that came from her farm. It is a fingering weight, which is very thin. It made a beautiful sweater. I seriously wish you could touch this thing. It is absolutely amazing. But because it was fingering, I should have known it didn't take up as much space in volume with the pattern because the pattern went by inches and it took me twice as long as it should have taken me to do the one that I made earlier. So I'll so this is my friend Carlene and she is a fellow shepherd and Carlene has been given, is given, being given an award tonight. What is it for? Um, I'm being given the honor of being Western Maryland's um, uh, fiber artist for the year. That's quite a special yeah. award. She's, she's quite a special lady though. So we are on our way to DC down to the reception. DC, right? Yep. Down, no, Baltimore. No, Baltimore, down to the reception dinner for her to get her award. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to get to see her display. So we'll get busy and get down there and record it. Okay. See ya. Bye.